Hey, what's going on guys? Simsy here from District Gaming, and in today's video, we're gonna continue our house to defense series, moving on to kitchen on coastline. You guys know I don't wanna waste too much time, let's get right into it. So when it comes to defending kitchen, you're gonna wanna run a smoke, a Jaeger, a maestro, and as for the last two ops, they can kind of be any sort of flex. You could bring a Pulse, a Valkyrie, a Mozzie, a Malusi. It's really up to you. Now, when it comes to reinforcements, I'm going to show you guys two different setups that work very well for the roamers, but there are a few walls in sight that are pretty much standard for both of these setups. So you're going to get the three walls inside of service, the right side kitchen wall between site. You're going to get this one bathroom wall. It's going to be the second one from the left. You're going to get the left side kitchen wall. You're going to leave the rest soft. And as for the remaining walls, there are two different setups. You can either get both of the couch walls in Sunrise, and then you can get the two couch walls facing Blue Bar if you want to ho roam horizontally and sit inside of Sunrise. But if you don't want to do this, you're going to get only the left side of the Sunrise to couches wall. And then you're going to bring the other three reinforcements upstairs. You're going to get the left and right side of Theater. And then you're going to get the 90 to VIP wall inside of the hallway. And the reasoning behind this is this allows you to roam vertically or horizontally, depending on how you guys want to play it. But this allows you to hold it for a little bit longer because you're dedicating some reinforcements to the position you are playing. And for the horizontal roam, if you guys want to rotate a reinforcement from inside of Sunrise and move it to the hookah hatch, you can go ahead and do so. I would recommend reinforcing the left side and leaving the right side soft, couch wall facing kitchen hallway so that you can use that last one to get the hookah hatch. Before we talk about utility, if you guys are watching this video and you're not currently subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell before you go. If you guys enjoy this series, there's a lot more videos to come in the future, so you guys don't want to miss it. Anyways, let's get back into it. So let's start off with smoke so that I can show you guys all of the rotation holes and lines of sight. So you're going to make a rotation hole right where I do. I also like to make a hole kind of just above head level because you're going to reinforce this right hand side. And I like to kind of throw my smokes up over through this hole here. As for the remaining holes, we're going to make some feet holes across this wall inside a bathroom. So you are going to have this reinforced, so you're just going to make feet holes around this. And this will just be in case you do have lobby control for like a retake. You can kind of either shoot the planter if they decide to plant on these open holes, or you can just see them run across the site. Typically, with this raw reinforced, they're probably going to plant in this reinforced wall, which is kind of what you want, because at least you know exactly where they're going to be planting at. But besides that, we're going to make some holes across kitchen wall. So you're going to make some head holes or kind of above head holes so that you can have somebody sit inside of luggage late round possibly if the attackers are doing a kitchen push. As you can see the person inside of luggage, they can pretty much see the people hopping kitchen window and there's almost no way to kind of fight this because even if you crouch down you can't even see the person luggage unless they push all the way up. And then we're going to make some feet holes across the kitchen wall as well. They're going to be a little bit deeper to the left. And the reasoning behind this is so that the person playing Lobby, which in this case will probably be a Maestro unless there's a Roamer late round that ends up playing Lobby, but they can use these holes to very easily contest the kitchen run-in, or the kitchen door run-in, so those are always good to just have just in case. And that is pretty much it for the most part. There are a couple holes you want, might want to make, maybe above kitchen window, so that if you do have Roamers playing upstairs, they can go into VIP and play the holes, the holes below. And another pretty good hole is right here. You can actually use this to watch the VIP big window vault or hop in. So you can just sit here with a shotgun, they hop in, you can blast them like that. And for positioning, you're pretty much going to play inside of kitchen. It's kind of a hell in the cell if the attackers do take top control. So you kind of got to learn how to play it a little bit. But um, you pretty much play in kitchen. You can smoke kitchen door from here. Okay. But you can, you can smoke kitchen door. <laughs> And then you can also go ahead and smoke the service door very, very safely with this reinforcement and this shield. So that's pretty much it. And moving on to Jaeger, we're going to go ahead and place our ADSs down. So we're going to place one on kitchen window. We're going to place one behind the bomb chassis. And this is just going to be for that shield in the kitchen right here. And then our last ADS is going to go on service door. Now you can move one of these ADSs if you think... Um, you want to place it somewhere a little bit more useful, or if you want to bring it upstairs or horizontally if you want to roam like in Sunrise, or if you want to bring it upstairs to roam um, like theater side, you can bring a ADS up, and I recommend rotating either the kitchen window one or the one on service door. But as for bar bar, we're going to go ahead and place one on kitchen door and kitchen window. And then for the most part, as Jaeger, you're going to be roaming, and like I showed you guys with reinforcements, you can either roam inside of Sunrise, or you guys can roam upstairs. And when I say Sunrise, I kind of mean like Sunrise, Blue Bar slash Office. You just kind of want to roam horizontally. And then if you want to roam in Theater, you're pretty much just going to be roaming vertically. You're going to play inside of Penthouse, Theater, 90 Hall, and Top White. Um, 
this is the whole point of this reinforcement, so you can kind of sit 90 without getting wall banged from VIP window. And you're just going to be roaming up here with another operator, which will probably be the Valkyrie, or that role that will play the Valkyrie, the flexible role. Um, if you decide to bring like a Pulse, probably would have that guy in sight. And if you want to bring a Mozzie, you could probably roam upstairs as well. But you're just going to pretty much roam either vertically or horizontally, depending on what kind of setup you guys want to do with the reinforcements. And moving on to Maestro, I just want to talk about something I read in the comments on some of the previous videos is you guys wonder why I kind of say Smoke, Jaeger, Maestro, because realistically, those are kind of useful in, in most strats, but it's typically because Jaeger, of course, you need ADSs. He has a really good gun. He's a roamer. That's kind of self-explanatory. Same thing with Smoke. You know, you have a shotgun to make rotates. You have an SMG-11 for gunfights, his shield, and of course, his smoke grenades. And then you have Maestro. Now, when it comes to Maestro, I just feel like he's probably one of the best anchors. Um, he's, you know, he has 81 bullets. He's a three armor. He has info and he can deny the plant with his info. So I feel like he's just one of the better anchors that are out right now. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and start by placing our utility. So the first evil eye is going to go inside of kitchen. We're just going to place it on sink here. And this will just watch kitchen door. You can also see the kitchen window hop in. If we just move it a little bit more to the right, you can see the kitchen window hop in very easily. And as for our last one, there are two different spots you can put it in. Some people like to place their evil eyes inside of the, like one in each site pretty much. So you have info everywhere. So since this wall is going to be reinforced, we can either place the next one on this reinforced wall, or what we're going to do is play near lobby. And you're going to actually use this inside of lobby. So you're pretty much going to be playing lobby desk for the most part. We have these feet holes from the smoke so that you can watch the kitchen door. This is kind of a little bit more an aggressive one. Um, even if you're not playing here, you are going to have roamers. Hopefully they can come back to site and they can take this position playing inside of lobby and they can play these holes and you can kind of play inside of the objective. Um, so it's completely up to you, but you're going to put those two evil eyes down our barbed wire. We're going to place one in a bathroom door. Now you can move this one in bathroom door and put it on front door if you are going to play behind lobby desk. But if you don't think you want to play lobby desk, I recommend playing inside of site. You're just going to kind of play inside of site with the smoke. And you're pretty much going to play kind of like pantry or, you know, the strip wall area or bathroom. And you're going to let the smoke kind of play in kitchen. But if you want to play in lobby and play a little bit more in an aggressive maestro, you're just pretty much going to play behind lobby desk. Obviously, you need to be aware of your front lobby door. You need to be aware of people pushing your square or pushing your security hall or your security door here. And you're probably just going to contest these holes right here. You're just going to try to help the smoke by covering the kitchen door. Also cover like the kitchen hallway walk up as well. So just be aware of that. But that is up to you guys if you kind of want to play a little bit more aggressive. But if you want to play a little bit more conservative in sight, you can also do that as well. It's perfectly fine. So moving on to Valkyrie, she's kind of a quality of life pick for the most part. I think she's very highly banned on a map like Coastline. So I don't really see her passing the ban phase. But if you do want to bring a Valk, she's perfectly A-OK. -okay. She's pretty much just going to be extra info for the most part. If you want to roam horizontally, you can use her to kind of get some info in Sunrise if you want. You can use her to get some info inside of Office. But if you want to roam vertically, you can use this to get some info inside of Penthouse and VIP and possibly go for a Nitro underneath. And it's completely up to you. Positioning-wise, you're just going to be on the roam. If you see opportunities for Nitros, go for those. If you just want to help out the Jaeger and the next case, we're actually going to use either the Mazi or Malusi for the final operator. If you guys, if you want to just help them out for the most part, um, the two in sight, the smoke and the Maestro should be able to kind of hold it for the most part. And you should be able to kind of help out the other two roamers just a little bit to kind of keep some more map control. But you're pretty much going to be on the roam and that's about it. And last but not least, we're going to move on to Malusi. Now, when it comes to Malusi, let's go ahead and place some Banshees. So, what I like to place is on the kitchen counter here, because this pretty much spreads to the entire uh, initial kitchen doorway, like when they walk into site. And then also, if they hop in kitchen window and they try to push deep to, like, get behind the bomb, or they try to vault over, you know, they'll get hit by that Banshee there. Our second Banshee, we're going to go ahead and place it on service, and we're just going to place it kind of anywhere in here, just to kind of cover a majority of service. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and place a Malusi inside of Kitchen Hallway. And this is in preparation in case you do have the Maestro Dex to kind of play in Lobby, or even late round if you have like a Jaeger or one of the Roamers stay alive and they rotate in Lobby to peek these holes on the floor here. That's pretty much what these are used for, just to get some info on people if they do decide to push up Kitchen Hallway. And as for positioning, you are going to be on the Roam here. 
I recommend bringing Malusi over other operators. I think if you want to kind of switch up like the flexible ops when it comes to the Valk and the Malusi, I think maybe switching the Valkyrie for another operator, unless she is banned, of course, then you can always switch her out anyway, since you can't actually play her. But switch her out for like a pulse if you want to have active info in sight for the people pushing vertically. And if not, then definitely the Mozzie for that room clear. It's just to kind of make it a little bit more difficult. But you're also going to be in the room here for the most part. You do have a night show, so you can coordinate with the Valkyrie or the Pulse. If there is like a night show that you can you can get from underneath, you can kind of use their info. Or if you have a Valkyrie cam, you can use that info to get your own night show pick. But you are going to be relatively closer to sight than the two other roamers, unless you do decide to bring a Pulse. The Pulse will probably be closer to the objective and you'll roam more with the Jaeger. But you're just going to be on the room and you want to try to stay alive, but also just if you see opportunities for nitros from underneath, then go ahead and go for it. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. I'm reading your comments on these videos and I'm trying my best to improve these as best as I can. I'm still learning as I'm making these solid videos, but I do hope you guys are enjoying the strat videos and all these how-tos. But Anyways, like I said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.